Moving right along to descriptive statement number five, which reads, the beginning teacher knows and teaches strategies that facilitate comprehension of different types of texts, such as literary, informational, or argumentative, before, during, and after reading, such as previewing, making predictions, questioning, self-monitoring, rereading, mapping, using reading journals, discussing texts. And again, all for students in grades four, five, and six. So there are a couple of key concepts here. First, we need to learn how to teach comprehension enhancing strategies to our students for a variety of types of books. And second, the reading strategies we teach our students need to work during different parts of reading, such as before reading, during reading, and after reading. Now, let's dive into this section so you are 100% prepared for test day. Let's start with a quick refresher of the different text types. Let's begin with literary texts. These are often characterized by a narrative structure. These texts tell a story and may include elements like characters, settings, plot, conflict, and resolution. Next, we have informational texts. These texts provide factional information about the world around us. They can include textbooks, news articles, and biographies. Finally, we have argumentative texts, and these are aimed at persuading the reader. These texts will present a claim and provide evidence to back it up. Now, let's discuss how to teach our students strategies that facilitate comprehension of these different text types. These strategies will work for all three text types, which are great for remembering these on your exam. Before reading strategies include previewing, where students skim through headings, subheadings, and look at illustrations to get a gist of what they think the content might be. Also, there is making predictions. Based on the title or headings, what do students think that the text is going to be about? Next, let's discuss during reading strategies. Here the teacher can teach the students questioning, such as pausing at a place in the story and asking, what do I understand? What's the main idea? Or why did that author say that? Then there's also the strategy called self-monitoring. This is when you check in with yourself. If something doesn't make sense, we teach the student to reread it. And one more to cater to our visual learners, there is also mapping. This is where we can create a visual representation of the information using a mind map. Now it's time to discuss reading strategies for after reading. This can include rereading. This is when you go back to areas that felt challenging to ensure that you totally understand them. Next is using reading journals where students reflect on what they've read noting down summaries, questions, and insights. And lastly, we have discussing texts. Here, this is when we talk about the text with a partner, a peer, a friend, which can help reveal new perspectives when you talk with it, another person about it. Not a great test taker? Click the link in the description below to get prepared faster, smarter, better, with everything you need to pass all in one place. So you get the test results you want and become a certified teacher with teacherpreps.com.